Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 22. Now we will study logarithmic and exponential function. Before we even study logarithmic and exponential function, what are they? Let's try to understand why do we study logarithmic and exponential function. The, the concepts which we generally follow, the, the pattern which we generally follow before introducing any new topic, we try to understand why do we need to study the topic. So similarly here also, why do we study these kind of functions. The first example is, if you put your money in the bank and you have, you know, the bank adds interest based on the compound interest. So if you have put, let's suppose, amount A, and then you send it for, let's suppose, uh, rate is, interest is R and you put it for T, T years, this kind of equation you have for compound interest money. So this, if you see, this is nothing but A into some constant to the power X because this time is always X, right? Time is one or two years, this is a variable and this guy is constant. So this is the fund or you can say B to the power X because A is also constant. So b to the power x is kind of equation here we have, the money grows, right? So this kind of equation is called exponential equation, b to the power x kind of equation. So, I mean, don't get into this because we will do all this thing in the next slide. Just understand that the example of exponential equation is you put the money in the bank and the money grows exponentially. So this is one example where you have exponential equation. Similarly, we have this population growth the population also grows exponentially. If you have oh, two, husband, wife, two people, then you know it, it becomes four, then again these two gives two, like like this. The, the population grows exponentially. Same thing with India, the population is growing exponentially and blasting like anything. Uh, the, when you get the earthquake, for earthquake we have something called Richter scale. And that scale is based on logs. So there is one application of logs. So if you, you know earthquake, we face earthquake in our little life and uh, the measurement of earthquake is done using a scale called Richter scale and that used logs actually. If you're in the field of chemistry, then no, uh, you have chain reactions going on. Uh, the the I think in the field of biology, the cells multiply, the bacteria multiplies, everything is done exponentially. Also, in case of sound, if you're in the world of physics, if you are inclined towards science, if you're doing physics uh, subject, then in, in sound, a lot of equations are based on logs and exponential, the battery charge and discharge, charge and discharge, that is also done exponentially and uh, that is done using log function. In case of nuclear reactions, the uh, the atoms disintegrate and you know, these kind of things also is done exponentially and logs are involved. So, and logs are, and exponential are linked actually. I'll show you how, but this slide was just to tell you the real life application of logs and exponents. When you put the money in the bank, the population growth, the earthquake Richter scale, the, the chemistry reactions, the physics, nuclear science, the battery charge, sounds everywhere, we use logs and exponential. So what is exponential function? Exponential function is any function that is of the form y is equal to b to the power x where b is greater than 1. So I told you, you put some amount in bank and then you get 1 plus r by 100 to the power x. After x years, you get this amount. When r is the rate of interest, it is constant. So this is nothing but if a is also constant, a into b to the power x kind of funda. So any equation of b to the power x is called an exponential equation, exponential function actually. So you take the graph of such kind of function where I'm saying b is 10, so y is equal to 10 to the power x. I have drawn the graph. It is like this. So it, it starts from it is never negative. It is never negative. See y is never negative. And the moment it cross one, cross one shoots like anything. It goes to infinite. So there are some features of this exponential function. The first is 
the point zero one is always part of the graph. No matter what value of b you take, this guy will always be the line on the graph. And the domain of this function is all real number. Plus, the range is all positive number. If you see, you, even if you take the negative number as x, y is always positive. So that I'm saying is x can be minus infinity to plus infinity, any real number. But y is always positive. Y is always positive. Always positive real numbers. And exponential is ever increasing. As you move from left to right, always increase. The graph rises ever. And for large negative value of x, these values, the exponential function is close to zero, but is never zero. It never meets. This guy is never meet. So these are the some of the features of exponential function. First is this guy is always there, 0, 1. My x can be any value from minus infinity to plus infinity, any real number. Y will always be positive, always be positive. And this guy always increase the moment you go it from left to right, no matter what value of b you take. But b is always greater than 1. And this guy never touch 0. Never touch 0. If you go extreme left, it will never touch 0. And there are two kinds of exponential function. The one is common exponential function and natural exponential function. So in common exponential function, we say y is equal to 10 to the power x actually. And in natural, we say y is equal to e to the power x. So we can take any value. If I told you what is e, I'll tell you just now. But as I told, y is equal to b to the power x is the is a general formula, but these are one which are used widely. Nowadays, y is equal to 2 to the power x is also used in the field of computer science because in the field of computer science, 2 has a great significance because computer is a binary world, 0 and 1. So y is equal to 2 to the power x has a great significance in the computer world. So this kind of equations are also used because all the memories you should see is of this form. All the GBs, 16 GB, 17 GB, actually, if you see, they are of this form. So this is used in the computer world nowadays, recently, but the general type in the mathematics world is y is equal to 10 to the power x form. That is called common exponential form. And y is equal to e to the power x form. That's called natural exponential form. And I'll tell you what is this e and why we got this e. Just hold for a second. So if you're talking about common exponential form, it is nothing but with the base 10, we have y is equal to 10 to the power x form. Correct? This is common exponential. If you talk about natural exponential function, it is of the base e. y is equal to e to the power x. And what is the value of e? e is nothing but if you say 1 by n factorial and you add all these values from n is equal to 0 to infinite, you'll get this value. e is equal to 2.78 something you'll get. I'll, I'll, we'll discuss more about e in the next few slides. But just understand this is a common. And why we are studying these? e to the power x and 10 to the power x. 2 to the power x. Why? Because these are the common used. This e to the power x is generally used in the terms of physics, physics world. This is used in the maths world because it's easy to calculate. This is used in the computer world. You can have 3 to the power x, 4 to the power x, this kind of things, but these are not used that much. Generally, these three are these three are used. These we are not going to study 2 to the power x because uh, this is not in our syllabus. 10 to the power x and e to the power x are generally used. So we'll study these kind of. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.